from starting out as Clipbit, which only lasted for a month, from July 21st till August 23rd of 2015, with Vidbit and Vidly following after. Trial and error, even bringing some developers from Vanilla, comes this website that we know today as Valer. This is Landrider 7, aka LR7, land here to check out this site for anyone who is clicking on this video just might be my audience as a best case scenario. So I happened to stumble upon this site at a time where Vanilla was shutting down. Before anything else happened, I got the chance to see this new alternative that was shown on the error page before it no longer exists, resulting in me making an account and continue on where I left off. For the past three months, I have taken the time to look around, click on a few videos here and there, and try to be as active as I can be in my otherwise busy life outside the internet in my failed attempt to be the Justin Y of this website. Here I'm checking out a few channels or showing off a few here and there, perhaps some familiar faces. I also can't help but to see these blog posts that are just thrown here where most people use them as a means to share their thoughts in paragraphs or whatnot. Nothing wrong with that, but I've noticed that they've been very, very un underutilized, often being overlooked, and to some extent, the groups are also another often overlooked feature, unless it was intentionally made for a few select to join, like a collaboration project or whatnot. And yes, I'm aware of the changes in the terms of service, as this has been recorded a month before any of that occurred. As this site is growing, and of course it makes sense for the terms of service needing an update close to 3,000 users, assuming they are not bots or throwaway accounts, so hopefully there are better methods to ensure that no one is going to violate the terms of service, which we really don't need those people around. As you can see, you can actually give your channel personality, not just by changing the color but also the background and the main colors like the titles and links and all these little details that most modern websites lack thereof. In some small way, it is reminiscent to something you would do on YouTube back in the day. And like most origin stories of how websites first start out, also brings in some fairly interesting characters on the platform to show what they have to offer. Some are good, others need to improve, and some are just flat out questionable at worst. But who am I to say otherwise? Overall, this website has quite some mixed content, mostly leaning towards the entertainment side and a few other little genres here and there, as well as blogs and some even talk about others on this platform. It's not necessarily a full replacement to currently more established video sharing sites. And I'm sure if certain features are to be added or changed, as well as bringing some recognition to a wider audience, then maybe. I do have some suggestions that might improve this site, like changing from Cloudflare to another alternative as suggested by Mr. VR. Also, the ability to live stream as this is the most requested feature by many, either with Twitch or Mixer integration or its own. For blog posts, add the ability to integrate RSS or to even use WordPress. Instead, having something like an app or even a Cody add-on. And there are some other features like adding the ability to have custom video shorts before the actual video runs for partnered channels. In other words, this is my quick take on Vlair, the website as a whole. I'm looking forward for where this website might be in some time from now. Till then, this is LR7 logging out. No. Just 
No.